Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We're talking about coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is a gratitude minute. We are looking at very specific communication uh, protocols or structures so that uh, your relationship becomes more juicy, more interesting, and there is a deeper connection with, uh, with your partner. So the gratitude minute is something that is really powerful. And the idea is this. You are going to voice uh, one thing, two things, five things that you love about your partner. You wake up in the morning, you're having breakfast. Hey, five things I love about you. Five things I love about how we have been relating to each other over the last, uh, the last week. And so when you start voicing, you know, it can be you voice, for instance, five things, and then your partner voices five things. Uh, or you can voice one thing, and then your partner is going to voice one thing, and you do, you do uh, rounds like that for like a minute, five minutes, ten minutes, you know, whatever, until you are done voicing what is, what is alive in you in terms of the things that you appreciate in your partner. So very often what happens in relationships is that um, you are going to be voicing things when things are going wrong. <laughs> you are going to give your partner a lot of shit, a lot of challenging feedback, a lot of reflection, a lot of demand, a lot of pressure, and uh, not so much, not voice so much the things that you love about your partner. And uh, the reasoning behind that is that, well, you, you know I love you. I don't have to voice it. I don't have to express it. I don't have to necessarily uh, be behind you. Oh, yes, I love you. It's, you're a beautiful being. Here are five things I love about you because you feel somehow that it's a little bit childish or unevolved to do that. Well, here is some news for you. It is that it is really, really, really powerful to receive a validation from your lover, from your partner. I think that you have really refreshing energy around you this morning. I love your dress. I love, I love the fact that yesterday you, you prepared food when, and you, you waited for me until I came back home. I love the fact that uh, you, you organized uh, these uh, activities for the kids. I love the fact that you, you uh, cleaned the house while I was uh, on my own holidays with my friend. I love the fact that you, that you took care of, uh, of uh, sending a message to my mother yesterday. I love the fact that you are so attentive to my sensual needs. I love how you touch me. You know, it's like, why is it that we would not be voicing these things if this is what makes your partner feel good? It's because there is some form of competition and rivalry in the relationship that you don't want your partner to feel too good about themselves. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. You want, you want your partner to be really empowered and you want to feel empowered by your partner as well. And so this is not cheesy. It's not like, oh yeah, let's all be happy and just look at the bright side of life. No, you can offer negative and challenging feedback as well, but there needs to be some form of balance. And so the gratitude minute is a really powerful thing to do. And what I encourage you to do, if you don't know how to set it up or how to start, it is to every morning for a week, you just like, okay, let's have a gratitude minute. Five things I love about you. Let's start. You know, and it doesn't need to be like long sharing. It can be, I just love the freshness of your skin this morning. I love, I love looking at you when you're smiling. I love, love looking deep into your eyes. It feels like there is a whole universe of, of reality and beauty when I look at you. See how it works, right? It's an easy one to implement.